Hello everybody, happy Friday. I hope you have had a good week. Hopefully I am in the right place. Let's make sure there's always kind of a delay. This week, you guys, we're using the Supremely Awesome stamp set. Let me show you if you're unfamiliar with it. It is so cute. I bet not many of you have this set. Um, I think it's one of those that's cute and maybe you're like, how am I gonna use that? Well, I'm gonna show you today. I actually um, ended up making five projects and two I was going between. I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do for today. Um, so anyway, the fourth one will have a video on Monday. So, well, anyways, it looks like I see you guys. Let me see, let me get this open so I can see your comments. All right, hello, hello, it's good to see you guys. Hopefully you're in the air conditioning. It is the surface of the sun here in South Texas with no relief in sight. You guys know I hate this time of year. It's my least favorite. Um, but what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Maybe maybe when we're older, we could, when the kids are gone, we could have like a north house, a house in the north where we go in the summer. I don't know, maybe that's wishful thinking, but it sounds really good. All right, hi, Michelle, thank you so much. It's still a work in progress. I'm still working some things out. I have my first team meeting here on Monday. I'm not sure we're all gonna fit, but we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Um, I wanna show you guys, I have a stack of cards to show you. Um, since the move, I have gotten a lot of cards and I haven't shared them with you, so I thought I would take some time today to show you. This is from Carla, very pretty Carla. Very pretty. I don't know, is that a, a watercolor wash? Yes, I think that is a watercolor wash. How simple that is to do the wash and then stamp on top of it. It looks like she colored on top of it as well. Very nice. Um, now this one came from Antoinette. And Antoinette, I haven't reached out to you yet. Um, she sent me a wreath for my door and it's so cute, it has sunflowers on it. But Antoinette makes these gorgeous like over the top cards um, and they're beautiful. I hate to even untie it because I'll never get it back as beautiful as it was. You know what, I'm just gonna leave it like this because I don't wanna untie it, but look at this. Antoinette is in my downline and she's amazing. She lives in up in New York. I always think it's exotic to live up in New York. I don't know why. <laughs> she works there and has a really fun life up in New York City. But Antoinette, I love it. It's beautiful, thank you. Um, I am gonna take pictures of it for my blog. Maybe I'll do that next week so you guys can see it closer. Um, these came from, uh-oh, let's see, I lost the envelope, so hopefully I know. Yeah, I think these are from Chris. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, Chris sends me beautiful cards all the time just for fun, and I love it. Look how she did the little, like, half tackle box. I thought that was really cool because that five box tackle box can kind of be a lot. So maybe just cutting it in half. So you just have the three, really cool. Um, and then this one, I can't remember the name of this die. Can you guys see it? But it's really cool. I have it, but I haven't used it yet. I like how she used it with that paper. Um, and then this one as well, very pretty. Thank you, Chris. I saw in my, um, I get an email every day telling me what's gonna be in my mail, in my mailbox. You guys can sign up for that on USPS.com. Um, I saw that she sent me something else too, so I'm excited. Um, let's see, this one. Oh, this one's from Chris as well. I did save the envelope. Look at that cute little 4th of July cupcake. So cute. Okay, now this one came from Luann, I believe. Yep, Luann. I love this color combination, navy and bubble bath. And it's, what do you call this? Like a stair step card? I think we need to case that. What do you guys think? That's really, really cute. Really, really cute. Thank you so much. Um, now this is from, I have to look, from Terry. She used this Earth and Elegance suite. It is really cool. This paper right here, they did a video on it um, for a leader, or not a leadership, for a Stampin' Demonstrator event. And the artist who designed this paper does clay. And all the papers in there are photographs of like clay, fired, 
non-fired. I don't know. You need to look at it closely. It's really beautiful. So I, every time now that I see that paper, I think of that. Um, but I also love this dye too. So thank you, Terry. I love it. It's very pretty, very earthy colors. Um, this one is from Marsha. I don't know what this is called either. I never know the names of these fun folds. And you know what I need to do? I need to start a, like a basket of fun fold cards because when I want to make a fun fold, I can never think of one. So I need to, I need to make a basket so that I can remember. Thank you, Marsha. That's really, really pretty. And you know what? That's that paper. I can't remember the name. It's in the annual catalog, but um, it's beautiful and I have not even touched it. Um, here is a Taco Fiesta card from Linda. Look how cute. That looks like a party I want to go to for sure. I haven't used my Taco Fiesta set lately. I need to pull it out. Um, I like how she did the thank you, thank you, thank you in the green, yellow, and red. Cute, clever. And then I actually got this one today from Kathy, who is in my downline. Look at this. And if you guys can see the stars behind it, it's like glimmer paper. How cute. A star is born. And you know, I think baby for this card, but she used it for a non-baby card and it works beautifully. So thanks, Kathy, I appreciate it. Okay, so that is that. Let me move all of these over here. Um, I'm gonna flip you guys around and tell you about some classes and some things that are coming up, if I can get this to switch around. Um, Tax-free weekends have been happening. I have, uh-oh, I have, I put that little clamp on the volume button. Hopefully it didn't mess things up. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Hey, don't go anywhere. Hold on. Okay, stay, behave. Um, Tax-free weekend is back to school tax-free um, things that the states do. And I've been posting them on Facebook whenever they start. And uh, the reason I'm pointing it out today is because all of my fellow Texans, ours has started today. I put in a big adhesive order this morning. Adhesive is one of those things that is um, tax-free for us this weekend. So my fellow Texans, make sure you check it out. Um, there is a post that went up this morning um, that has a link to this so you can see everything that's tax-free. It's things like adhesive, markers, um, I think grid paper, is that right? Blender pen. Anyway, look through there and you'll see what's tax free. It saves our taxes about, our sales tax is about eight and a quarter. So, you know, it's better than, than no discount. <laughs> I mean, you know. Um, okay, ready, set, redeem. You guys, do you have your bonus bucks? Um, I've gotten several emails asking me about where you would find your bonus bucks. When you put in an order in July, they emailed you a bonus bucks coupon a code that you just copy and paste. Um, look through your email, look through your spam, and if you can't find it, we can reach out to Stampin' Up and have them resend it to you, I think. I haven't confirmed that this year, but in years past, they were able to do that. So you have all of August, and they are stackable. So that means if you have five of them, you can use them all on one order and there's no minimum order. So if you had $25 in bonus bucks and you put in a $26 order, your order would be a dollar. So, I mean, I'm not sure I could just put in a $26 order, but <laughs> it, you know, it's there. So stackable, not a lot of places will do stackable coupons, which I really appreciate. Um, okay, kits are on sale. If you're looking for kits, 30% off. They're in our kit section. All right, let me talk to you about the Barbie class. I took my girls on Tuesday night to see Barbie. And I am embarrassed to say that I cried multiple times. I cried all my makeup off. I went in expecting it to be a stupid movie. And it is dumb and silly. But it also is sweet and has a lot of meaning. I mean, shockingly. The thing that really stood out to me was the mother-daughter relationship between uh, America Ferrera and her daughter, and then just talking about how girls, you know, can do things. I, I don't know, just it, it was powerful for me sitting next to my three daughters, and I didn't expect that at all. So now, uh, the other thing that I really liked was the nostalgia. 
I loved Barbie growing up. I played Barbie probably way too long <laughs> into older, you know, like early teens, like 11, 12, probably still playing with my Barbie. So to see kind of the nostalgia part of it um, was fun too. And then the girls, there were Barbies in there that they had, Barbies that I had, Barbie that my mom had. It's funny. So if you haven't seen it, I recommend it. I thought it was really clever and not at all what I expected. So why am I telling you all that? Well, because we have a Barbie inspired class to go. Me and my besties, Rhonda Wade and Ange McKay put together a class. It has eight projects. Um, the kit will include eight make and takes. The PDF will include those tutorials plus three others. Um, by the way, that PDF, I have it and it's ready. I just haven't posted it yet. I will do that this afternoon. I know many of you are waiting for that PDF. Um, we are using two different stamp sets, the Everyday Thanks and the Wonderful Thoughts. Um, it's six cards, two 3D items. You're going to get a pack of paper. You're going to get two different sets of ribbon. You're going to get two different sets of embellishments. Um, you're going to get um, a sheet of something eclectic designer series paper, all the patterns. It's a huge class. We're calling it a mega class. Um, it is $69. Um, that includes shipping and includes all that product. It includes uh, eight projects. Um, now, if you don't have the stamp sets, you can add them on. And when I do that for my classes, I always say I will pay the tax and shipping on that for you. So you can do that. Um, the deadline for this is August 24th. Um, I'm going to be gone what is that? What is the date? August 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. I'm going to be gone. We have a Stampin' Up! Leadership event. So that following week is when I will prep and ship that class. So it will ship at the very end of August, possibly even September 1st. Um, but I, this is one of my favorite classes that we have ever done. It's super cute. I love the colors. Um, I love the meaning behind it. In our PDF, we included the photos of the Barbies we used as inspiration for each card. A different Barbie was used as the inspiration for each different project. Um, it was fun. I, I, I have to say, I did not come up with this idea. It was Rhonda's idea, and I jumped on it as soon as she said it, and it got me so excited, like I could not wait to start creating. So I think if you are looking for a class kit that comes in the mail, this one is for you. It is, it is fun. It is fun. Okay. So there's that. Um, I have emailed out the link to this, but, um, I can't post it on my blog. You have to actually email me and ask me for that link. If you need it, please just shoot me an email and I'll be happy to send it to you. Okay. <clears throat> the next thing I want to talk to you about is club create for September. We are using products from the new holiday catalog. This Merry and Bright bundle is what I'm using. It'll be five Christmas cards in September. We're getting a jump start on our Christmas cards. And um, let's see, where's my other one? This one right here. Um, it is bright and cheery and fun. And I, I love it. Uh, I mean, I love this paper and I love this bundle. So if you're already a member of Club Create, you don't have to do anything. You're already subscribed. If you would like to subscribe to Club Create, there is a link at the top of my blog that says Club Create. Um, you get about $20 in product. The price, there has been a price increase. It starts in September. It's $45. It includes shipping. It includes about $20 in product, five projects, a PDF, and a video. And on the sixth month, if you subscribe, if you stay six months, you get a $25 um, product credit to go... Uh, to spend however you want to be included in your kit. So that is Club Create. Um, you have until September 7th to subscribe for the September kit. And it ships around the 21st of each month. Okay, I think that is it. Let me see, I wasn't looking at comments. Yes, Carla, I was thinking about you with the PDF. I have, I have a, I have a to-do list that is like, you know, like super, super long and I can't seem to, <laughs> catch up. So it's on there and I am going to make it a point to do that this afternoon. Um, okay. How about prizes? I picked two winners this time from YouTube. I always upload this over to YouTube. And if you share it either on YouTube or on Facebook, write in the comments that you shared 
and then I will randomly pick two people um, to win. So now over on YouTube, I feel like it's changed. I could only see like your username and not like your real names. So hopefully you will know who you are. Margarita Maven and Jennifer Hansen 951. <laughs> um, please email me. I would love to send these to you as a thank you for sharing my video. Um, the So Very Merry stamp set. This week, our prize is a bundle, the Dainty Delight stamps and dies, okay? So just make sure you put in the comments that you shared so that I know who has shared and who wants to win a prize. Okay, so Facebook Friday, here we are. Let me pull this down. Um, every week I pick a product and we make three projects with it. This week, let's see, can I move that up? This week I'm using the Supremely Awesome stamp set. Now I wanna know who has this stamp set. I'm wondering how well it's sold. I, of course, it was on one of my very first orders. I think it's funny, it's got funny sayings, and I don't think we've ever had a pizza stamp set, have we? Um, and I knew I would have fun with it. So if you like it and you're like, oh, I don't know what I'll do with it, I'm gonna show you today three different ideas. And then I will have two more ideas next week for you um, to give you five total ideas on how to use it. Now, the other part of Facebook Friday is that I send the make and takes as a thank you gift free when you put in an order um, with me between now and Monday at midnight. Let's see, Rhonda says she has it. Um, anybody else have this supremely awesome stamp set? I'm interested. Christine, you've been resisting it. Oh, has Nicole done some cute things with it? That doesn't surprise me. Um, Peggy says she's got it. All right, well, good. I, um, it was really fun to play with. I, I, I'm, I, at first I was like, okay, what am I gonna do with this? And then once I started, the ideas just were pouring out, so. But if you like today's make and takes and you want me to send them to you for free in a little kit that looks like this, um, all you have to do is order from stampinup.com. Um, minimum order is $35 and use this host code so that the order comes to me or not not the order comes to me but I get credit for the order that's what that host code does um and then Tuesday morning I will write down everybody's name and I will cut pack and ship these little make and take kits to everybody who ordered between now and Monday at midnight there's also a free pdf over on my blog hopefully it's up I've, I've been kind of like a chicken with my head cut off honestly the last few days I am doing a lot of things and not doing them all real well. <laughs> you know, like when you spread yourself real thin, you can get things done, but they're not done real well. That's kind of how I feel like I've been doing lately. Um, so hopefully the blog post is up. Hopefully the PDF is connected. If not, I'll fix it when we are done. But it's free, it has all the measurements, supply list, and those things that I talked about. Oh, I didn't talk about the all-star tutorial PDF, but you can click on that and read about that too. Okay, I think it's time for us to get started. Um, so how have you guys been? Thank you, Christine, it's up, good. Um, Lisa, you're thinking about getting it for your teenage son? Yeah, you know, we love pizza around here. Like, we love pizza a lot. <laughs> we love, and you know, my girls really actually prefer to um, do homemade pizza. I would prefer to order from Little Caesars. I am. I love Little Caesars pizza, but, you know, I mean, it's like the worst thing that you could eat. <laughs> Especially if you're trying to do low carb, well, forget it. Um, but we do eat a lot of pizza around here. Um, and they like to make homemade pizza. My daughter had a sleepover last week with a couple of friends. And I said, what do you want me to make for dinner? And she said, pizza. And I was like, well, okay, that's super easy. So that's what we did. Um, I'm also Italian. Did you guys know that? My father's mother's from Italy. So I claim my Italian heritage. And so I feel like I'm representing today with my Italian flag background. For my cards, inspiration. I went to Google and I Googled, um, I Googled vintage pizza signs. And that's where I got all my inspiration from. Lots of fun, cute little pizza signs. So if you're looking for inspiration, 
go look there and you will not be disappointed. Okay, let's do our stamping first. We're gonna stamp our dude in Memento Black. Now, you guys, I always pre-record these. One, it helps me work out any kinks and <laughs> make sure I haven't forgotten anything. But it also serves as a um, place for you guys to um, go reference a video without having to go through the whole Facebook Live. Hold on, I just realized I needed to stamp this across here. Let me grab another piece of basic white. Do I have another piece over here? Hold, please. Hold, please. Let's see. Okay, obviously I didn't work out all the kinks. Um, so this one has a clean recording over at YouTube. And so will the mini pizza box. The other project I recorded or I thought I recorded it. And then when I went to upload it, I realized my camera wasn't on the whole time and I wanted to cry. And so I was like, you know what? That's it, too bad, one shot, I'm not doing it again. Um, just because I'm so, I have so many other things to do. So two of the three, <laughs> two of the three this week um, have been pre-recorded for you over there, sorry. Um, the other, the, the third one, is, I think it's pretty easy and it'll be fine. You can still reference this video if you need to. All right, so we've got our guy. Um, let me get my colors. Now, I have, I've have played around with the colors and um, we'll see what you guys think of the colors that I've chosen for our pizza. I'm gonna start with our guy and he, see I started reading, um, questions. Anita says, are you doing paper shares? Oh, Anita, yes, that is on my to-do list, paper shares. I was hoping I would have that information for you today, and I do not, but yes, I am going to do paper shares. Um, Anita, I, I think I'm going to have to work all weekend. I've got so much to do. Um, for some reason, it just feels like everything is compounding suddenly, and I don't have enough time in the day, but yes, thank you for asking. All right, I'm taking Smoky Slate Light, Light Smoky Slate, and just kind of flicking color around the edge. And then I'm gonna take my color lifter and pull that color out so it kind of bleeds out and just gives him kind of like a, a little bit of a shadow on his jacket. All right, and then for his pants, I'm gonna color them all in Smoky Slate. We're supposed to go, my husband's work has a family, like a family party every year. And the last couple of years, it's been at a place called Schlitterbahn. And if you're from Texas, you probably know what Schlitterbahn is. It's a huge water park. And a lot of it is from spring fed um, water and the water's cold and it's nice. But it's gonna be like 135. <laughs> like 135 on Sunday and just the walk from the car over. I, I just don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And so I'm like trying to get out of it. <laughs> and my husband, you know, gives me the sad puppy dog eyes because he feels like he has to go and he doesn't want to go by himself. Only one of the kids can go because the other one is working. So honestly, I would just like to be in here and just get caught up on all my stamping stuff. But I think I'm going to have to go. And, you know, I just don't want to put my bathing suit on. I mean, let's be honest, right? Ugh. I'm done with that. Okay, so for the skin tone, you guys, we have a ton of choices for this. I always just go back to Petal Pink because it's fast and it's easy. Um, but we have 10, I believe, 10 different skin tone colors. I think they're called natural tone blends or whatever. So... Feel free to color your dude whatever color you want. I like to take a darker whatever whatever color you're using and add the cheeks like that. Um, now, for the crust, what color do you guys think we should do for the crust? What would you use? I want to see what your suggestions are. I am using ivory. I, we have a set of blends that are ivory and bronze, and the ivory, I think, is the best 
is the best option. But I would like to see, do you guys have other suggestions for the crust? And of course for the cheese, we'll just do daffodil light all the way around. My youngest daughter would eat pizza, I think, every day of the week. I really, really try not to eat pizza. <laughs> I really, really like it. Hi, Belinda, how are you? Thank you. Carla, me too. Um, every year, I, I don't know if it's the older I get or if it's just summers are getting hotter. I just can't stand it. July, August, early September, I am just like, I've told you guys this before, you know that seasonal affective disorder that people get in the winter? I feel like I get that here in the summer. It makes me depressed because it's never ending and it's, it's just sweltering and in the evenings it's hot. You can't really go outside, do anything. Ugh, I definitely, I mean the water park sounds nice but there's a long walk from the car to the get in, you gotta stand in line, you know, all that. I'd rather not. All right, I'm gonna take, I felt like it needed a little bit more, so I'm just gonna take my basic black stamp and write marker and just add like, I don't know, some dots, like olives or something, all right? Okay, so um, it's funny because I'm starting to see lots of fall, like all the, People on Instagram that I follow, all the like decorating type accounts, you know, they're all starting to make that transition over to fall. And I'm like, yes, I know. Some people are like, please, but I love it. Okay, now, no, no dies. You know, you know the drill, get your paper snips, go around the edge. I like to give him or it, whatever I'm cutting out, just a little white border. And if you notice right there in the crook of his elbow, I did not cut that out. And I'm gonna show you, when we put him on the card, we're gonna put him so that there's a white background behind that and you won't see it. So I don't really feel like it's necessary to try to get in there and cut that out. It would be a little bit tricky. The sayings in the stamp set are really cute really clever. I like when they come up with funny little sayings. All right, around the bend here. And there we go. All right, now I am going to get in here and cut this out because that's not too hard. We also saw Oppenheimer. Guys, we went to the movies and saw Oppenheimer, my husband and I, and it is very, very good. It's very fast paced. There are a lot of characters. And in the last third of it, I was just confused. <laughs> Who was doing what, why, how, how come, where, but still very good. Um, Killian Murphy, I think that's how you say his name, the main guy. Hold on, I gotta find my other scissors. Where are my other scissors? Are they here? Oh yeah, they're here. I um, like him a lot. He was in uh, Peaky Blinders and he's really good. So if you like a more serious movie than the Barbie, I like both. Um, Oppenheimer was very good. It's, it's very long, so be prepared, but it is good. Okay, so we've got those two things done. Let's get our sentiment done. We're going to emboss it. Oh my gosh, look what I did. I put my embossing buddy inside. Why did I do that? Because I wasn't thinking. All right, let's see if this is gonna help us on our basic black piece. Did you like it, Patricia? Yes, it's good. It was very good. Um, I, I wish I, had, I knew more of the actual history. I think that would have helped me follow along that last part, the last third part, you know, um, after the whole bomb thing, um, but really good. Highly recommend. And for all of you who have been telling us to watch Lincoln Lawyer, we have started it. We're on season two. We love it. Very good recommendation. So thank you. All right. I've got a little bit of um, something going on here between the letters. So if that happens, get out a paintbrush 
and just very carefully wipe it away. Okay, and then we will hit it with a heat tool for just a few seconds. Yeah, you know, Jean, you're right. When you finally sink into that water after that long walk, it does feel good. But, you know, water park, this water park especially is real big. So you have to do a lot of walking between rides. And usually my husband and I just want to park it in the lazy river. But the kids, you know, and this park actually, Schlitterbahn is so big, it's actually two parks. So to go to the other half of the park, you have to get on a like a tram a bus tram in your bathing suit. It's, it's craziness. It's a great park, but it's just a lot. And I don't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> I mean, maybe if it wasn't 137 degrees outside, I would feel differently. Okay. Now cut this out with the, um, stitched banner from the stylus shape dies. Did you love it, Peggy? Or Mary, did you love it? Finished it all recently. Yes, so we're on season two. And you know what my problem is? Tell me if you guys do this. I do other things while I'm watching TV a lot of times, like type up tutorials or check Instagram or check email. And so then I don't pay real close attention. <laughs> do you guys do that? So then I'm asking my husband, what? Why did he do that? Why did he say, and then my husband gets super annoyed. Are you even watching? <laughs> so, so now I feel self-conscious. Like I don't want to ask, even though I'm confused. And Lincoln Lawyer is one of those that you really need to focus in on. Okay, I'm looking for my blending brush. Here it is. Um, we're going to make these two strips for our Italian flag a little vintage-y. And to do that, I'm going to take crumb cake. And I'm just going to go around the edges, okay? Um, for my second one, I think I was a little too heavy-handed, so I'm going to try not to do that this time. But Lincoln Lawyer is on Netflix. It's a book series, and it's a good one. Like, if you have a husband that wants to watch something and you have a hard time agreeing on things, it's a good one. I think it's a good one. The guy that plays the Lincoln Lawyer, I don't think I've ever seen him before. Has he been in anything else? He's really good. Has Nev Campbell, who I love. My... My youngest just watched all the screen movies this summer, and every time she sees her, she's like, why is Sydney on there? And she's in other things, Addie, other than Scream. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna put this. These were one and a fourth inch wide by five, and we're gonna put them on a piece of three and three fourths by five inch piece of basic white to make that little like Italian flag. All right, and I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna just go across the bottom like that. And then we'll snip, snip it off. Snip, snip like that. And we're gonna get, oh no, we gotta do our um, basic black baker's twine. I've been using a lot of bake, black baker's twine lately. And I have to make several sets of swaps for things that I'm doing. And uh, I'm running out of black baker's twine because I've been using it so much. All right, there we go. Snip, snip. Um, he played, hi, Patience, he played Tommy and a man, oh, I haven't seen a man called Otto. I haven't seen that. That looks sad to me. I don't know if I can watch that. I just don't want to see anything sad these days. I mean, it's probably not sad. Probably, a man called Otto it probably starts off sad and then maybe it's better. <sighs> I don't know. The mid-season finale of Outlander is on today. For all of my Outlander fans, that's one show that I make sure I'm doing nothing while I'm watching it. It's my favorite. Okay, now last but not least, let's put our guy on here. And um, remember, we didn't cut out that white corner right here. So I'm gonna make sure that that just goes over the white part like that. Okay, and I think I need another dimensional under the pizza. 
All right, so there we go. Together we make a deluxe combo. So cute. Basic black card base, and we will use the remnants of our of our dimensionals for this, or four dimensionals in each corner. I love when I can do it like this. I should pull out my adhesive foam adhesive sheets. That helps you do this easily too. All right, and then we'll put right there in the middle. Now inside your basic black card base, you need to put a piece of white so that you can write. And I'm gonna add a little bit of stamping. We're gonna take the checkerboard and go across the bottom. I think I've used this stamp in every project today. A little checkerboard stamp. And there we go. What do you guys think? He's cute. He's a cutie. All right, so see how I was a little too heavy handed over here on this one with the ink? Gotta go a little bit lighter than that. I mean, it's okay, I guess. All right, so there we go. Card number one, let me clean up and we're gonna do card number two. And card number two is the one I told you doesn't have an individual recording of it, unfortunately. But I did practice, it just didn't get recorded. Fun times, fun times. Okay, for this card, I was thinking about like cheesy background, like bubbly cheese. You guys see that? So that's where I started with this. And I also wanted to use the guy, but I didn't want to color him. I wanted to see if we could do it a little bit simpler. So that's what I've done here. Let's make our background first, and we'll bring over that grid paper again. And you're gonna need, oh, I have the wrong tray. Hold on, oh, hold on, I'm all mixed up over here. Hold on, hold on. I have the wrong projects on that tray. Let me get all the stuff. Ugh, these nails, you guys, too long. I've got to take care of this. Who has time to get their nails done? Not me, not I. Okay, so we're gonna use a blending brush again. I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back. That's just gonna hold it onto my grid paper so it doesn't slide around. I've got a bigger blending brush this time and Daffodil Delight ink somewhere right here. And I'm just gonna add a lot of ink, right? And I'm gonna start in, I always lay my blending brush down on my grid paper first so that I don't get any hard smudges. Um, and I'm gonna start from the top, start from the bottom, start from the sides. We just want lots of intense yellow. And it doesn't have to be perfectly uniform. Some, you know, some places are a little bit darker than others, and that's okay. If you want it perfectly uniform, then you just use cardstock, right? This is inking, so it's not gonna be perfectly uniformed. And so you can just go about this for as long as your arm will let you. It is, an, it is a workout, okay? Now, here, I'm gonna show you a very technical, um, a technical technique, okay? It's very, very technical, so pay attention. There's a bowl of water, you dip your fingers in, and you flick. <laughs> it's very high level crafting. All right, and you just flick water on there and you can take a paper towel and dab it if you want, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna let it do its thing. And that's the high level technical cheese technique. <laughs> I'm naming it the cheese technique, all right? Um, you can also use your uh, water painter if you want. Um, but I find I get a little better, better splatter when I just dip my fingers in. You guys, I'm glad you thought that was funny. Okay, so now for this guy. Oh my God, these nails, you guys. I, 
I got new nails from a new guy. They are too long and they're driving me crazy. I can't pick anything up. All right, we're gonna do him in crumb cake ink on crumb cake cardstock, okay? And then what else do we need to do? We're gonna stamp the um, checkerboard this time in real red. You wanna make sure that you're cleaning it really good. My beautiful chamois. I know, it's not beautiful, but that's okay, it still works. And we'll get real red. <laughs> Ashley, hi Ashley, I remember the cheese touch. Oh my gosh, I was teaching school at the height of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and the cheese touch became an issue. Those kids on the playground, yes, yeah, so funny. All right, we're gonna do two of these here. And then for our sentiment, I'm going to use our Stamp and Write markers. And I want to point out to you that our Stamp and Write markers are different. They've been redesigned in the catalog. My black one is an old one. Um, so I want to show you the red is new and the tips are a little bit different. It's the this tip that's different than they used to be more like a... Um, Oh, like a, you know, fine point Sharpie. I don't know if you guys can see. And now they look like this, which is really good. Sometimes these would stop writing. You had to store them sideways and, you know, it still not always work. So they replaced the tip with this, which I really like. Now we're not using that tip today, but I just wanted to point that out to you that we have new markers. I believe the brush tips, yeah, they're the same, pretty much. They look, the markers look a little bit different but they're basically the same on the outside. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my real red and color right onto my red rubber, the pizza. And then I'm gonna take my basic black and color the other letters. Now, if you have your stamparatus, the other way to do this is to mask and do one color and stamp it, clean it, mask, do the other colors, clean, stamp it, clean it. But believe it or not, I ran out of masking tape. So we're doing it this way. Um, I actually, it's here now, but when I was doing this, I ran out. Oh no, we need to leave this open. I'm gonna need this. Um, okay, um, paper trimmer, let me grab my trimmer and we will cut these strips out. Like this, if you line the edge of the, um, the edge of the image, in, if you put it in the gutter is what I'm trying to say, right here where you can see it, it's really easy to, to cut. All right, there we go. Now, while I have my trimmer here, let me get this because I realized today that it was too, a little bit too big. It needs to be four by five and a fourth. Okay. Now we'll bring back our little cut and emboss machine and we're going to cut this out with the nested essential dies. Have you guys used, oh, you know what? I need to grab it. I just was using it and I put it back. Hold on. Have you guys used these dies? They're really good. I really, really like them. I just cut a whole bunch of them for our team get our team meeting make it takes and they cut so well they are just really strong and sturdy and i like them and of course they're stitched so you know me and stitched if it's stitched then it's definitely for me all right let's move this out of the way and i think now we just need to punch this out with our two and third 
two and three eighths inch circle punch. And I'm, he's not gonna fit perfectly, which is fine, but I'm gonna try to get as much of him and the pizza as I can. And then we want to, man, we're really using this grid paper. We want to add a little bit of age, that age look to him as well. So again, with your crumb cake, and just kind of go around those edges. And if you don't want to fussy cut him, you, you know, for the other project, you could do something like this where you cut him out with a stitched rectangle or something like that. Okay, I think we're ready to put it all together. Let me close this now. Oh no, I forgot the pizzas, hello. Let's do the pizzas. Do I have white cardstock? Did I use it all up? I threw it into the trash, didn't I? Hmm. Oh yeah, here it is, okay. Um, we have two slices of pizza in this set. We have a small slice and a big slice. And we're gonna use the small one and we're gonna color it exactly the same way. So ivory crust. Now, okay, I need to ask you guys, do you see, so we've got pepperoni, olives. What do you think those little rectangles are? Tell me what you think they are because I really had trouble deciding what to color them. I kind of decided that maybe they were bell peppers, but I don't know. Then I started thinking maybe they're onions. Becky, you think onions? So then would you just leave them white? I mean, usually, don't they put like red onions? I don't know. What do you guys think, peppers or onions? Okay, okay, so I was overthinking it basically. Is what you guys are telling me. <laughs> well, I'm gonna color them with granny apple green. We're gonna say they're bell peppers. I cannot stand bell peppers. So this pizza is not for me. Even if I was gonna pick them off, I could still taste them. Ugh. I wish I liked them, but I do not. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Bell peppers. I do like pineapple on my pizza. I said what I said. I know some of you are gonna be like, no. Pineapple and ham, Hawaiian pizza, yes ma'am. That is, that is my go-to, pineapple Hawaiian pizza. I also like barbecue chicken pizza. Have you had a barbecue chicken pizza? Green pepper scale, you feel the same? So, no, I don't like red or yellow either. Terry, you make them green as peppers. Okay, Shirley, veggie pizza. Now, okay, veggie pizza. Yes, I would have mushrooms, olives, onions. What else? I would not have green peppers. Um, I don't know, what else do they put on a veggie pizza? I don't know, I always pick my pepperonis off too. I don't know why, I just don't, not that I don't like it, I just, I don't know. I either want a cheese pizza or Hawaiian pizza, or barbecue chicken pizza. Mm, some restaurants serve barbecue chicken pizza, like not actual pizza places, but you know, like restaurants. Oh, so good. Flatbread, mm, mm, mm. Maybe that's what we'll have for dinner tonight. Artichokes, Michelle, yes, artichokes. I don't know if I would eat an artichoke. Yeah, I probably would. I do like artichokes and salad. So yeah, probably. The thing about pizza, is it could be literally anything on the bread. This week on the Today Show, they were making a pizza, this week or last week, and he was putting clams on it. And I was like, ooh, clams, no thanks. I thought that was a weird one, but it just goes to show that you can make your pizza anything you want. I know, Laura, everybody's gonna have pizza tonight for dinner. Okay, so we'll put that there with dimensionals. And I might as well just cut this up and use all of it. We'll put this one on with dimensionals. Kind of stick it behind there like that. And then these little guys, I just kind of put, is it Stacy very New England? Okay, yes, he was from New England. I've never had a clam in my life. And it just doesn't sound like something I would want. It's definitely not a Texas thing. <laughs> I, I'm not a brave 
eater. I'm, I'm stick to the things that I know. I'm not real like adventurous. And clams, I guess maybe if you're raised that, you know, around them, then it wouldn't feel so exotic or weird. But clam pizza, so it's really a thing, huh? Hmm. He was putting some sauce on there and he said uh, he liked the clam juice in the sauce or something. I was like, ooh, no thank you. That is one pizza that just doesn't sound very good. So then are the clams, how are they cooked on a pizza? I'm very, I'm just very concerned about a clam pizza. <laughs> All right, a double linen thread bow. And then last but not least, if I haven't lost it right here, we have a basic white thick card base. And you can do dimensionals or you can do stamp and seal, whichever you want. I'm going to do seal because it's a little bit warped from the water. And there you go. A bubbly cheese background pizza. Now look, you can see my ink pad was, was much juicier when I did that one. Or maybe my arm just lasted longer. It's darker. All right, there you go. Card number two. Becky says ranch, bacon, and chicken. That sounds delicious, Becky. You and I have the same taste. Um, yes, I'm getting a big yuck for clams. Um, I don't know. I don't want to offend all of you New Englanders because I'm sure there's things here down in Texas that you would be like, disgusting. It's just about where are you from, right? Okay, one more. Let me grab it. Now, speaking of weird <laughs> speaking of weird actually let's do these two um of course i had to make a mini pizza box i mean of course right and so inside of course we have to have a gummy pizza now i'm not sure i want to eat the gummy pizza but the my girls said it looks like something they would eat so i don't know <laughs> it comes like this i got them on um amazon it's really cute I had in my stash some gummy pizza slices, and I know that I bought them since this catalog came out. I could not remember where I got them, and then I could not find them anywhere online. I don't know. Maybe they came from Norway. I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna just use the whole pizza. The whole pizza makes sense anyway, right? Okay, let's make our pizza box. Let's see if my measurements are right. I did do, where's my company score? Oh, all the way over here. I did do a pre-recorded of this one and the measurements were right. Well, they were right-ish. I did have to shorten the paper a little bit. Um, Cliffy says she likes clams, but not on pizza. You've not heard that one, huh? Anybody who's had a clam pizza, please tell us how the clams are cooked. Used to eat raw clams, Patricia. Oh. I can't, I can't do it. Carly, not a seafood girl. I don't like fish, but I do like seafood when it's fried, <laughs> deep fried with tartar sauce. No, I like it grilled too, but it is good fried. Okay, back to this for our box. You need a piece of thick basic white that is four and a fourth by eight. And these measurements are on today's PDF. Second, oh no, first page right here, okay? So the long side, we're gonna do half an inch three and a fourth. Nope, I already messed up. Dang it. Half an inch. See, here are my notes. And they're not good notes. So we're going to ignore that one. Half inch, three and three fourths of an inch, not three and a fourth, three and three fourths. Four and a fourth and seven and a half. Then turn it half an inch and three and three fourths. Man, I just can't seem to get them right lately. What's wrong with me? All right, burnish those lines. Let's make sure we get the right lines burnished. I'm gonna ignore the other line. We're gonna pretend like it's not there. Um, use your bone folder. That'll make your box nice and crisp. Fried artichokes. Michelle, I've never had fried artichokes before. Mm. I mean, I really haven't met anything fried that I didn't like. I mean, let's be honest, right? Okay, so now what we're going to do is 
Am I gonna remember which one of these not to cut down here? Okay, we're pretending like that three and a fourth line isn't there. So we're gonna cut all the score lines on the long side. And you can cut the outside corners off. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, as you go, snip and snip. Did I do the right ones? Yes, okay. I should have just gotten a new piece of paper, but I didn't. Snip, snip, snip. Well, let's cut the outside corners off. Okay, I did that one. And then this middle tab, you could probably, probably wanna cut those corners off as well on that one. Now, this is a, your basic clamshell box. We have made this type of box many, 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 many times. Okay, so lay it down, it looks like this. And I'm gonna use liquid glue and my clothes pens. Um, tear and tape would be good too. I just don't have the patience for tear and tape right now with my fingernails being as annoying as they are. So I'm gonna use liquid glue. Here in the lovely, muggy, humid South Texas air, liquid glue works the best anyway. So I'm gonna fold it in and push it down to those sides, making sure that the edges are flush there. And then I take my clothes, my little mini clothes pens and just hold it closed. All right, and we'll fold that one up in and whoops. Hungry and broke now the <laughs> Gail. <laughs> Um, fold this one up into that. Now for the top lid, we're gonna fold them into these sides, okay? Our internet went out last night and, did, and then when I got up this morning, it was still out. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Because I have no cell service out here at all. Um, which is weird because my husband's phone does, but mine doesn't. I don't know what that says. Okay, we're going to put this aside. But I was worried that we weren't going to be able to do Facebook Friday. Luckily, we're okay. It's all good. I just had to restart my modem. <laughs> I don't know why it went out. All right, now, for this little checkered border, we're going to need to stamp this thing four times. And if you stamp it pretty close to each other. It makes it easier to cut them apart. I try to get them real close. I mean, it's not a necessity, but it just, I think it makes it a little bit easier. Okay, all right, so we've got that. And then we're gonna stamp our guy. We're gonna color him, but we're not, that always looks smaller when it's away from the project. Um, we're gonna color him, but we're, we don't need to, color the whole thing. We're just coloring a little bit. Of, oh, that's not my chamois. Chamois, chamois, where are you? Right here, let's clean this guy. And a little memento. At the end of the month, Stampin' Up! has a leadership event called um, Backstage, and it's in Las Vegas. So I'm going from super hot to super duper hot. I'm like, why couldn't it have been like in Wisconsin, Michigan, somewhere cool? I'm sure those of you up there are like, yes, we're going somewhere hot. But not me. I don't like it. Wah. I'm very whiny today. Very whiny. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. A little bit of smoky slate to add some shadow here. To his uniform, I mean his uh, jacket. Speaking of chef jackets, have you guys watched The Bear? Season two is out, I haven't watched it yet, but I'm going to. It's on, what is that, on Hulu? If you guys haven't watched The Bear, it is so good. It's about a chef and it's very good. I saw this morning a recipe from the show, an omelet that I can't wait to try. It's good. You guys gotta watch it. Also, 
Only Murders in the Building, you guys. I think season three is out now and I haven't started that either. That's a really good show. I think that's on Hulu too. That is Steve Martin and Martin Sheen. And it is hilarious. So, so good. All right, now if you have started something new, you have to, you have to share with a group, some kind of new show. This is where we tell each other what we need to watch. Um, Sweet Magnolias is something I watch on my own. It's not a show my husband wants to watch. So I have, I restarted season two, but I haven't gotten to the new season yet, season three. That is one show I highly recommend, Sweet Magnolias it's on Netflix. I hate that we have to, that we have to subscribe to all these services to watch all these shows. It's very annoying. We used to think it would be better, right, than cable, but my gosh, I can't remember what I've subscribed to, what I'm paying for. I was paying for a while, paying twice for Hulu because I had signed up under two different email addresses. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Ugh. But they know, they know we'll do it. I don't know. We may, we may start revolting. They're raising the prices. Netflix, I think, is raising their prices again. Or maybe it was Disney Plus, I heard. Ugh. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost there. Let me finish up with my yellow Daffodil Delight cheese. If you're real heavy handed with your Stampin' blends, the ink might start bleeding together. So don't go real heavy on these inks. I made that mistake the first time I colored the pizza and they were kind of all blending together. So don't be real heavy handed. Um, the other thing I need to stamp is the sentiment. And the sentiment says you're supremely awesome, but I'm just gonna do the supremely awesome because we're going to fussy cut it and I'm trying to keep it a little bit simple less less words to cut out okay let's chop 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 and while I'm doing this let me see what you guys are saying Selena Gomez is so good Gabby right um Gabby you just finished it last night we need to get some cheese for that one <laughs> patience I have cheese it's bubbly Yes, it's very bubbly cheese. I just need the wine is what I need. It's the wine that I need. Maybe a margarita. That sounds delicious. We in Wisconsin have had 10 of 90 plus and that's 10 days too many. So Heidi, in Wisconsin, when you have 90 plus days, do you have air conditioning? To me, 90s are like, you know, spring. Here we have had like 105. I didn't do a very good job cutting these, you guys. I did not do a very good job. And that's gonna make a big difference because I need to just take my scissors and do it. I'm not paying attention. Um, we have had the hottest summer I can remember. And I said that last summer, 105 air temp and then whatever heat index. And I know my Arizona friends have been even worse. But in Wisconsin, yes, air in the 90s. Oh yes, you have air conditioning set on 69. Girl, you're my kind of girl. That's what I like to set mine on too, but my husband won't allow it. <laughs> Our new house has a programmable thermostat. So I have it programmed to go down at night after we go to bed and then go back up before we get up. So he doesn't even know that I'm turning way down <laughs> sneaky I know sneaky I cannot sleep if I am the least bit warm so it has to go down uh, you know 90 is miserable if you don't have air conditioning I will, I will definitely agree with that okay so now you need a piece of basic white that is three by three and we're just gonna put these on here and now, I know some of you are gonna want to match them up perfectly. Please don't worry about that. No one's gonna care in your checkers if they're not exactly right. Nobody's gonna say anything. They're just gonna be like, oh my God, 
god, it's so cute. Okay, promise me you're not gonna get all crazy trying to get the checkers perfectly straight and equal with each other. I just want the edges of your my paper to match. All right, so now we snip, snip. The first time I made this, I tried to do this on the lid of the box and it did not go well. So that's why I decided we needed a separate little piece to do this. Okay, so now you've got your little diner square and we'll get this guy and we're gonna put him on a piece of garden green cardstock with our stamp and seal. And then if I can find some dimensionals, voila, they are right here. I'm gonna put this on with dimensionals. Okay, now the sentiment, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna fussy cut that sentiment. And if you don't like it, then don't do it. Do whatever you want, but I'm gonna show you. I've showed you guys this before. Take your pencil and trace around the words, all right? This is gonna give you a guide for when you're cutting. You don't have to guess as to where your pencil line or where your scissors have to go. Use your pencil, color a bubble around the words. I know you guys drew these bubbles on your notebooks when you were teenagers, so you can do it. We all decorated our notebooks and our book covers. Remember when we had textbooks and book covers? You guys remember that? Now everything is digital. I mean, I guess that's okay, but this doesn't seem as effective. I mean, how are you gonna write who you love if you don't have a notebook, I mean, a book cover to write it on? Remember, oh, I loved covering my books and then decorating the book cover. That was a million years ago. All right, so now I'm just gonna go around following my little line that I drew. And if you have any pencil lines left, just take your eraser and erase. So the, the, the point of this is that you are taking the guesswork out of your scissors. You're drawing the lines, your scissors, you don't even have to think about it. And if you are drawing it and it looks weird, you can erase it and fix it. But if you cut it weird, you have to start all over. You can't undo a cut. Okay, there you go. I mean, really, pretty simple. Now I'm gonna put that, these on with liquid glue and then we're ready to put our box together. Supremely awesome. Oh, I don't wanna cover his face. Okay, now the moment of truth. Let's see if our box will close. Let's get one of these gummy pizzas. Um, hello, I am losing everything today. I ordered these from Amazon. I have a bunch. So if you order your Facebook Friday kit, I'm gonna send you a gummy pizza, but it'll probably be a melted blob by the time it gets to you. I have done that before and uh, gummy candies don't do well in the summer in the mail. All right, there you go. I did not embellish it. I felt like it didn't need to be embellished, right? These would make cute party favors, teacher favors. Kids would really like them. I mean, they're just really cute. Really, really cute. What do you guys think? I think it's very cute. Hi, Denise. Make sure to feed them to the mailbox and let you. Yeah, well, there is that. We haven't had an electricity bill here yet. That's gonna be interesting. The house is bigger, so I'll just blame it on the fact that this house is bigger than the other house. You know, I'll pay the difference. Whatever, it's worth it. <laughs> Solar Farms Jean, this past month my air was just about every day and it smells like about $34. Wow, so your town has solar farms. You don't have to put solar panels of your own on your house. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, so here are our three projects. And I'm gonna show you our two bonus projects, but I wanna show you if you like these. These are our Facebook Friday projects this week. And these are the three make and takes I will send you. 
for free if you put in an order by Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want as long as it's a $35 minimum and use this, uses this host code, okay? And cutoff is Monday at midnight. Um, now, next week, I will post these two different cards. This one I was going to do for Facebook Friday, but it took a really long time, so I decided just to film a video and put the video, I'll put the video up on Monday. I'll show you how to do that weaving kind of tablecloth there, okay? That'll, so look for that on Monday, and then this one will be on Tuesday. I use my Stamparatus to stamp that little piece of pizza all the way around. So cute. You've got a piece of my heart. So cute. Who thinks of these things? All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Um, I'll be back next week with the science. It's a science stamp set. I have not made those projects yet. I'm behind. I don't like to not have them ready a week ahead, but they will be ready. Um, let me know if you need the Barbie class registration. And I think that's it. You guys, have a wonderful weekend. I will see you next Friday. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys.